everybody, happy Thursday. And today is another episode of Coffee and a Chat. Mm-mm-mm. Does a body good. So today's question is actually one, and the reason I thought it was Coffee and Chat, because it's something I just want to talk about with you. And the question says, what is your view on natural therapies for mental health over medications? In parentheses, mainly antidepressants. Or as other reliable treatment options. I went to a massage therapist slash neuropath last week and she seemed to scrunch up her face when I said that I was on antidepressants. She then linked my headaches and tight muscles to probably be in symptoms of the medications. She went on to talk about the importance of eating organic foods, having only natural cleaning products in the house, and the use of herbal medicine and aromatherapy stuff. So then she went on to say that, if, that I'd be off those antidepressants in no time if I went down this natural road to health. And I'm just doing that because that's what it says in the question. I felt a little invalidated and that all of my problems, I struggle with PTSD, anxiety, and depression will simply disappear if I can just change a few things. But then it got me thinking, why doesn't therapy slash mental illness talk about more natural treatment options? All they seem to produce is talk-based therapies and medication. Very true. Um, and then she says, just wondering your thoughts, and I'm referring to, this is what she's talking about and what they've told her about. I'm referring to treatments that people such as Dr. Joe Dispenza, the Food Matters documentary, and Dr. Bradley Nelson, who all, that, that's what they talk about. So any insights? I thought this was a really good question. And the truth of it is that I personally, in my own life, subscribe to the whole organic natural cleaning product bandwagon. I've jumped on that bandwagon and not even to do with my mental health, just because I believe that things should be grown naturally in general. Why in the world did we ever use such nasty things like pesticides and why are some tomatoes like this big yet taste like shit? That's not normal, it bothers me, I don't understand it. So I personally pay extra and deal with it to buy organic meat, produce, everything, and natural cleaning products for the most part. I still really like bleach. Is that considered natural? Probably not, but I, the smell just makes it seem so clean. So for the most part, I totally get behind that. But do I go to restaurants and be like, is that cauliflower organic? No, I'm not that kind of person. Not that there's anything wrong with that kind of person. Those are just my personal thoughts about the organic, natural living lifestyle. Can natural living and healthier cleaning products and just overall treating your body better help things for you? Definitely. It can, I've heard stories and I don't know the studies because there aren't really any studies. They're like case studies, like one at a time, which unless you have a whole bunch of people, I don't really, you know, believe that much about what they've found. But in some case studies with certain people, they found that ailments they used to have, such as, you know, cancer cells or you know, diabetes, heart disease, all of those things we know can be improved through diet, exercise, organic eating, non-processed foods. We've all heard this whole like clean eating shenanigans has been going on for forever, right? Those things we find to be true and I'm sure there's a ton of research. If any of you find research supporting it because I believe it, you can leave it in the comments and let us know. So with regard to that, Yes, it can improve your life. It can improve your physical health, which we know, healthy mind, healthy body, if any of you have been watching forever, my OG viewers, you guys really like that phrase, OG viewers, you know who you are. We know the healthy mind, healthy body, they're linked. One can't really exist without the other and vice versa. So yes, treating our bodies well makes us feel better. Then we go into what this person's actually asking. She struggles with PTSD, anxiety and depression. Would those things just disappear if we subscribe to this like neuropath healthy lifestyle? My thoughts, because this is a chat, right? You leave your thoughts below. I don't think so. Does healthy eating, you know, whatever, vegetarian, vegan, lifestyle, clean eating, naturopath, neuropath, whatever you want to call whatever, anything in that vein, homeopathic pharmacies, Will any of that stuff get rid of the trauma, make it cease to exist? No, and, and that's my belief. Do I believe that getting out of the house, getting sun in your face, eating well, treating your body right could maybe lift your mood and help alleviate some of your depression while we're working together? Definitely. I prescribe that to a lot of my clients. I always tell them that they need to get out, they need to see friends, they need to eat better, they need to do all these things, right? Drink a lot of water. Um, there are things we can do to help ourselves feel better mood-wise and improve the way our body functions. 
So if there are things you can do to help with that, do it. But don't let someone who pretty much, there's a lot of people who see things in black and white. We know that that's not good. I live in the gray, right? Eating organic, treating your body right is good. But does it remove mental illness? No. Would you say that to a person who's had uh, paranoid schizophrenia for 25 years that if, oh, if you just stopped eating processed foods and meats and ate organic and stopped taking any medicine that it would have gone away? I'd have to argue no, because we know in the brain that there are actual structural differences and things are actually different. We also know that there are things such as dopamine and serotonin and when those aren't in balance in a certain way that we can feel different. We can feel better or worse. That doesn't mean that it's only that that affects what's going on with us, but that's a huge portion of it and we can't discredit it. And you, I mean, the person who wrote this question said they felt a little invalidated. I would have too. Mental illness is not a joke. It's not something that we can just fix with, you know, eating clean and da 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 da. That's not why it started. It could make it worse because we feel like shit, but those are just my thoughts about it. I think it's great to treat your body well. I'm gonna end with this. I think it's great to do that. I also think it's great to take mental illness seriously. And by telling us that maybe by taking an herbal supplement and getting massages and eating clean or organic or whatever, that we'd feel it make it go away, that just seems to go a little bit too far for me. But what are your thoughts? What are your experiences? I know that like melatonin has sometimes helped me sleep. That's natural. Sleep can make me feel better, can make my mood better. And that's about it. So what are your thoughts? What do you think? What has been your experience? Share it in the comments and give this video a thumbs up if you like it because I think these coffee and chats are kind of cool and it gives us a little bit more time to just get to know each other and chat about a topic that's important. And I think this is an important topic, especially since media puts so much emphasis on clean eating and organic lifestyles and uh, it makes me crazy, especially since I work in the eating disorder realm. Stop the madness. But let me know what your th thoughts are. Let me know what you think. I really appreciate it. I love you all and I'll see you on Monday.